Next topic, and this is not even new news. I've heard of this years ago, actually. I think there's a there's a parasite. (laughs) This is like this is very strange. Okay, there's a parasite that's in cat feces. What is it like toxoplasma or something? And it's been linked to risk taking, and more specifically, people who are more prone to be entrepreneurs. You know, risk takers. They're you know they're not so risk averse and it, it links people to this <laughs> this basically this parasite <laughs> and they think that that's the explanation for some people who are entrepreneurs there is there is a st- there are studies where it links mice who are more risk averse right so the so the so the um so the rationale is that the purpose is mice who get this toxoplasma or whatever they're risk averse or they're not risk averse. They're they're more daring, and they put themselves in harm's way with cats, and cats eat them, and that in turn puts them in the cat digestive system, which then in turn puts them in cat feces, and then if you're exposed to those cat feces, et cetera, et cetera, you know the cycle continues. These studies have shown that humans are also affected by this. Do right? you think you have it or something? <laughs> oh no, I don't have it. I don't have it for sure. I don't have it. Here's the thing: Have you ever had cats? I have had cats. Really? When? Yeah. Uh, when uh, between high school and college. Oh, okay. I have never been expo- exposed to cats. I have never been in a household with cats. And this is not to prove anything. I'm not saying this proves anything, but <laughs> I am. I am very risk averse. I'm not an entrepreneur. I don't like gambling. Uh, I played poker for a portion of my life, but it was only doing, because I was good podcast. at poker. Huh? Doing this podcast is already. Um, I would say it, it's risky. Really? Not not extremely, but um, no. it it is it is a little bit. I think I would say that in general, I'm risk averse. Right? I don't yeah. gamble. Yeah. I played poker, but that was only because I was better than other people at poker. And as soon as I got the sense that I was not better than people at poker, you know, after you know the fish and the dumb people stopped playing poker, I stopped playing because I just there was no positive expectation for me to play a game where I was not one of the best people at it. So I'm a very risk averse person mm-hmm. and I've never I, I been think in a it's household common, with cats. I think it's common among uh, smart people. I know a lot of smart people that are risk averse. Okay, but that doesn't that doesn't map with <laughs> this study. Let's just go with this study. This study seems to suggest that, hey, if you're exposed to this toxo cat thing, okay, you're a riskier person. You're prone to take yeah, on yeah. risk. As you're going to be an var- entrepreneur. As, right. as just one variable though, right? It's just one. I'm sure it's just one variable. And I'm not trying to sit here and say that, oh, yeah, because you're exposed to some parasite and cat poop, you're now going to be the next Elon Musk. No, no, I'm, <laughs> yeah, that's not what's happening here. But it is interesting to consider, consider the possibility that a lot of things that we chalk up to, hey, you're just this person. You're just this personality. This is just the way you've always been. This is just your destiny. This is just the type of person you are. It is interesting to externalize some of that explanation Mm -hmm. and say that, well, maybe a lot of it is who you are and what you were always meant to be, but some of it might be this parasite that you picked up from cat feces, you know? Yeah. Like there are external factors that impact your behavior, that impact the the trajectory of your life. And it's just so hilarious to think that you, whether or not you're exposed to this parasite and cat feces influence whether or not you had the whether you had the risk aversion or non risk aversion as it were to mm-hmm. be an entrepreneur to risk it all it is yeah. weird to think about these things and it's almost random right it's pretty random whether or not you're exposed to this parasite yes yeah, it's, it's interesting how and this is an example of like one of these microorganisms affecting your personality whereas you know, if you watch like All In uh, Pod, Friedberg's talking a lot about the, the microbiome and how important that is. And right. He loves the we, gut biome stuff. Yeah, yeah. How we've all got whatever billions or trillions of bacteria. Right. And those also have a very big influence on, I would say, your, you know, your, your functioning, but not necessarily your personality. Uh, although, you know, it could, it could sort of indirectly affect your personality in terms of like your you know, if you're healthier, then you're probably happier, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but yeah, I mean, did you, like, have you heard about the fecal implants? Uh, no. What the hell? Oh, you haven't heard about that, huh? 
No. Uh, I guess certain some people have certain uh, maybe like digestive issues or other issues involving their digestive tract, and one of the the treatments that they've started doing recently are actually uh, fecal implants. They basically take shit from somebody who's healthy, and they uh, and you get implants and they put in it into their... another person. Yeah. yeah, I think I would rather die. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. We all have a finite time on this earth, okay? I think I would rather just live that out, whatever it is for me, without having someone else's shit put inside of me. My impression is that these these procedures are actually highly effective. So oh you may even like, if yeah. they are. What? What? <laughs> so what are they? What are they affected in doing? What do they do? I think they're discovering that there's so many um, sort of illnesses. is it the biome shit? Yeah, yeah. There's so many oh, okay. illnesses that are essentially related to your gut biome. And this is the most efficient way to basically get a healthy uh, gut biome is so, via one of these. So treatments. why do you have a? Why do some people have an unhealthy gut biome? I, I don't know. It's probably uh, you know multi. It's probably you know multifactorial. Huh. What, what you eat, how you sleep, you know whether you exercise, et cetera, et cetera. I think it all affects it. So if I if I take a healthy person's shit and put it inside of my body, yeah. I'll be healthier. Yeah, probably. You know how um, yogurt... I don't even want to ask. Which end end do they put it in? (laughs) Do they put it in the back door or do you eat it? (laughs) Probably the back door. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know which one's better. Oh, my God. Uh, Okay. How does that get to your gut, though? How does it get... That's your your large intestine. How does that get to your gut? Have you seen... um, You know, they sell probiotics in pill form. Or, I'm okay you know, with probiotics. Yeah. yeah. Or if you, or if you I can drink a probiotic and it tastes good. Order a kombucha or whatever these trendy. Uh, I get. Yeah. Th- those are fine. Are. Those are yeah, fine. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, I, I, I suspect that those may be like pissing in the ocean uh, when you compare it to the fecal transplant. That's what I'm. That's what I'm. Oh thinking. my god. Here's what I want to know. So, how do they determine who's a, a healthy person? And then, what do they just ask them to collect their shit? did a quick google search or rave search and some of these some of these discussions that are popping up autism symptoms reduced nearly 50 percent two years after fecal transplant (laughs) poop transplants are saving lives fecal transplants reverse hallmarks of aging in the gut eyes and brain that's a recent one poop matters oh my god another there's another guy has a ama i had a fecal transplant ama I bet somebody asked them uh, front door or back door. I don't know, man. You want me to see? I think I may. I think I may rather just die. So somebody, they st- somebody asked. Somebody asked, "Would you have taken shit from anybody or only your wife?" Well, why? Why is his wife healthy? You <laughs> yeah, would think I it should be some ideal yeah. person, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's, that's a joke. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't oh, know. Oh shit! Actually, it maybe was his wife. Yeah, my wife was a donor. <laughs> Well, how do they know well, that? That's whole joke too convenient. Of taking shit from your wife to a whole new uh, level. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So, I don't even want to discuss it. I, what? 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 What is the? So it creates a good biome in your intestine, essentially, right? In your stomach. Here you go. Here you go. Somebody said, "So you drank your wife's filtered poop?" And this guy replied, "I didn't drink it. I had an endoscopy and colonos- colonoscopy." Hmm where the poop slurry was sprayed on my insides. Oh, God. And then somebody said, or sometimes it's put through a nasogastric tube. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> just, just kill me. No, 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 no. What is the point? You've okay, had... So, so this is actually a, good, a great hypothetical, then. Because, you know, what if there were all these benefits that you could get? You, you still wouldn't do it? <clears throat> what are the benefits? Just living longer? That's not enough for me. Let's just say being healthier. You know, having more energy every day. Uh, no, I have plenty of energy. Maybe, I wake up maybe. in the morning. I do <laughs> stuff. I go to bed. That's enough. I don't need to do more than what I do. Okay. okay? And if getting 15% more out of my day requires me... What if it helped like, you... Um, what if it... Sticking other people's shit up my rectum? No, thank you. <laughs> what if it made it easier to maintain a low body fat percentage? Still no, okay. because I have a low body fat percentage. I'm thin. And I do that through discipline and hard work. And I, I'll just keep on with that. I'll keep with that formula. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe your poop is already healthy. It could be. It could be. I doubt it though, because I drink a lot. I'm sure that alcohol is probably not, you know. Why are we even discussing this? This is such a gross topic. Jesus Christ. <laughs> is this something 
that they discuss on All In? Yeah, they've talked about fetal transplants. Oh my God, you know what? Friedberg has done it. No. Yeah, just, if he's talking just, about it all the time, he must have done it. No, did you actually uh, like confirm that or are you just guessing? I'm just guessing. Because if people talk about something a lot, it it's kind of like a tell. They're they're revealing. That, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I've researched this and I've probably done it too. <laughs> you know, like this if you talk all... to a guy and he knows all about like how to get hookers in Thailand, it's like how do you know all of this stuff? <laughs> you know, it's like oh no, I just researched it on the internet and now I'm passing along the knowledge to you. Okay. There, there there's an all in pod uh, search engine and I just typed in fetal transplant and it's episode ninety three has a lot of talk. So. He's done it. I bet he's done it. <laughs> Gross.